All right. Stop! In the name of Star Command. Sorry, no can do like you. So, um, yeah, this game's epic. I don't know what else there is to say. Thanks, Mira. Always willing to lend a helping hand. Ow. 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 No. no. So, I'm assuming the audio is okay. I'm assuming but that uh, my gamer commentary is uh, audible enough for me to commentate as a true blue gamer. No one refuses me. So I will do some epic meme gamer commentary because uh, the chat's kind of dead and I don't feel like doing anything else. So uh, this is Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. This is the New Game Plus All Bosses category. And uh, this category is done on a completed game file where you can just go from one level to the next to the next. And uh, then there, you know, there's a few more after that as well. And uh, the reason uh, that this is a category instead of j uh, just calling it any percent is because any percent would be done from a new game file. And in order to unlock later levels, you need to do revisits in the earlier levels to do side missions. And that's dumb and gay at the same time. And I missed that fuel can, so that's going to make me lose a lot of time. Oh well, haha. <laughs> um, so yeah, New Game Plus All Bosses is the uh, the main straight speedrun category. Uh, I also do 100% and I have done any percent as well, although I do not prefer it. Um, this is absolute fucking trash. And uh, yeah, so very recently I uh, actually absolutely demolished a uh, competitor at this game at the Disney Relay Race, whom shall not be named. And uh, yeah, I got a 4305, I believe, and they got like a 48, so that was uh, quite epic. Um, I'm a known beast at this game. I will not be stopped. I will not be topped. I, got this one, I may have gotten the glitch. No, I did not. If you land in that um, little fireball pit, the little, the, the little lava pit there, uh, at, this, at the right frame, uh, when the cutscene starts, you can walk and jump during the cutscene. It saves a few seconds on the boss because it allows you to stand right here as the, cu as the boss battle begins so you don't have to jump over during the boss battle. Saves a few seconds. I missed it. I also missed the fuel can, so I'm going to lose a little bit of time from losing the hoverboard early. So, yeah. Off to a pretty uh, terrible start here at this, uh, at this speed run. Stop right there, Creepazoid. Feed me. So, an alternative name for this game is uh, David Putty of Star Command. And that is because the voice actor for Buzz Lightyear in this game is actually David Putty from Seinfeld. And uh, that guy's pretty based. So, every now and then you'll see uh, some of the crew call this game David Putty of Star Command. If you don't know much about David Putty, uh, he was in Seinfeld. He uh, starred himself, or he played himself in that uh, series. And uh, he also voices uh, Buzz Lightyear in this game, as well as the uh, Buzz Lightyear animated series. Okay. 
So this is the first level with the bombs. You need to destroy all the bombs in order to successfully initiate the boss fight at the end. So in a lot of levels, there's like very fast ways to like go through the levels, but you have to kill the bombs anyway, so it's just kind of gay. I mean, whatever. This game is epic ass. Really, the uh, main idea in this uh, level is just to kind of turn the corners tightly as you can. As well as you want to pick up some of the um, yellow circle weapons. As they inflict a lot of damage. And if you get a weapon, the same weapon, multiple times, it upgrades the weapon. So, uh, when you get multiple yellow circle weapons, it just starts shooting out multiple shots at once. Uh, ideally, you can get up to three shots by the time you get to the boss fight. Usually, I end up with around two. Sometimes, I end up with one, depending on how shit I am. So, we'll see how this goes. That's one. Yeah. You have to land very particularly after that rock in order to uh, get that one. Fucked it up. I got this one, Buzz. I got this one, Buzz. I sought him up for you, Buzz. I Thanks, Mira. For you. Always willing to lend a helping hand. So the way this fight works is you want to destroy the shield and then destroy the turrets. These turrets will actually protect him from taking any damage after the shield is gone. So this is how you have to do it. This is the only boss fight where there's actually like some sort of gimmick. Very interesting that they didn't do that with any other boss. Backing up that apparition. No! Pretty good. Damn. Doubled my best segment. Or halved it. Or whatever. I don't know. 2 plus 2 is 4. That's all I know. As well as 2 times 2 is 4. Also, I fucked up. Alright, so we're going into Karn. Stop in the name of the Galactic Alliance. I don't think so, Ranger. Hello, at GengaGuy5456. So jumping doesn't actually do anything, it's just kind of fun. A lot of this game is just hold forward and, you know, that's it. So sometimes I'll do some shit like, you know, jump to make the game a little bit more interesting. Reminder, that doesn't matter. At Double Raider. David Putty's based in his own right. He was a very, very good choice. Because he's actually a really unironically good fucking voice actor. And he did a good job in the movie and the animated series. I think he's a better voice actor than Tim Allen by far. At Baggles, back me up here. David Putty's based. Tim Allen's a fucking cocksucking motherfucking faggot. And I'll kick his ass. Tim Allen, more like Tim Alien. That nigga looks like a fucking gross boy. BMU, y'all. I got 
got this one, Buzz. I got this one, Buzz. Soften him up for you. Ouch! Thanks, Mira. Always willing to lend a helping hand. Ouch. Fuck yeah, dog. You know what up. I like you, man. You're my nigga, bro. I'll back that up, honestly. Appears that we are currently in progress in order to bring it back. Alright, coming up next is Trade World. Yeah, we make some kind of arrangement. The only the arrangement, arrangement that you need is to worry about is finding someone crazy enough, enough to defend, defend you. you. Well, yeah. off we go then. Fucked up my lines there, but you know. I'm trying my best. Ah ha! That's all that's important right now. Also, reminded my windows are open. Make sure I don't miss any fuel cans here. If you miss like two fuel cans, your run is over. By that I mean you like you'll just lose like 20 seconds and you can't really PB anymore. I should get really lucky on final turn. My finals are like still isn't 100% optimized. It's just RNG. So what can you do? Collect the little green boys. I'm afraid I cannot do that. I'm sorry, Ginga Guy. If you would like to purchase a 100% uh, speedrun, however, that is very possible. David Putty more like David fuck you nigga you gay nigga shit you don't know shit cause you gay niggas sucking dick ain't knowing shit cause they ain't gay niggas homo ass Obama niggas man shit thank you man <laughs> god damn it dude nigga shit So this boss has got quite a bit of RNG to him. Uh, he can either float in the air, where you can't really do any damage to him, or he can not do that and kind of be on ground level. Um, the ideal RNG is where he's just on ground level the whole time, or at least as much as possible. And bad RNG is when he just stays in the air the whole time, like that. He'll always start off like that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is very unlucky. Yikes. That was pretty fucking unlucky. I love cartoons. Coming up next is Joe Why Add Two. Just back off and let me do my business here. The only business you'll be a part of is from behind. Nine bars, torque. torque. Yeah, okay. What a what of a buzzsaw. Back up, Inga guy.
got this Pretty one, good. Buzz. Good night at BZ Boys. See you, Apparition. I saw the for you, Buzz. Thanks, Mira. Always willing to lend a helping hand. So you can do a quick kill on this guy, but it's like fucking very, 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 very inconsistent, so I'm not gonna bother. And I got it on accident. <laughs> I did the wrong weapon swap and I got the quick kill. Epic. Did I miss any scoops? There were like 10. Nah, I think you should be good. Good reminder, Devil Rider. Surrender now, Skrill. Reminder that at Brandon Scott Hill is unhinged. I am very hinged. Did. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Commander Keen. This was the scoop I was telling you about. I had V-Hill on and Silk Sock on in Discord. And that's where all the scoops I gave you earlier came from. And then Ginga Guy was a special guest who came on a bark for us. It wasn't much of a debate, it was more so like B Hill just exposing it all. BMU fellas. Don't worry, all the videos that are pertinent will be uploaded. Reminder, my window's open. Yeah! Oh shit, bringing it back. At Brandon Scott Hill. Light year, I come in peace. Yikes. All right, the beginning of this level is very particular. It, uh, if you fuck up, can be very unnice. Alright, that's fine. Not the perfect strat, but like only a few seconds slower. Any other like mess up, if you don't like kind of go up against that little slope there. If you like say run past that grenade, it's it's worth it to go back and get it, but you lose like 10 seconds. Well, not really. Oh. It depends how far you slide away from the grenade. If you slide too far away, then it's not worth going back and getting it. Um, 
which you lose like five seconds on the boss. Or just, uh, it's not even really five. I don't know four. You lose time. Just put it that way. And you can also get really messed up in your positioning, and it's just really annoying and awkward. But either way, it went well. So leave me alone. Freaking pause the game, dude. That right, game guy, have it? You pause the consumption. Freaking fat bitch. I only called you a bitch because that's you know, that's a dog. And you're a dog. I know you probably can't hear what I'm saying because you're BRB, but that's not important. Right? By the way, at Devil Riding Ten, uh, when are you going to bed? Delay that soon. I got this one, Buzz. Hello, ALML. Thanks, Mira. Always willing to lend a helping hand. Delay? Yes, delay. As in postpone. As in take the time that you would take it normally and then make that, you know, further away in the distance. Oh shit, bringing it back. Hello, ALMO. Why? No particular reason. Well, I mean, there is a particular reason, but no particular reason. You feel me? Please feel me. Alright, Black Fan, give it up! At ALMO420. I'm currently on world record pace in a very optimized speed game. At Devil Rider, don't go to sleep, you fucking faggot. I'm not gonna tell you one more time. At B Hill, what the? At Devil Rider, I can assure you that it is worth staying up an extra fucking 20 minutes. now and get it out of your system. I got any time saves? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't really remember what my run was like. All I know is I got a really good Zerg. Well, not really good, but like half really good. I got this one, Buzz. Up for you, Buzz. Thanks, Mira. Always willing to lend a helping hand. Also, at GengaGuy5456. At GengaGuy5456. Buzz Lightyear, I tire of you. And I tire, tire of, of your, your lawlessness. Save it for someone who cares, Buzz. I'm, I'm out of here.
I think I remember deciding that taking this uh, teleporter wasn't worth it, but I'm gonna try it again, because I don't really remember where it goes. Oh, wait! That's a teleport destination. Oh, shit. Maybe I can save time in this level. Yikes. At Brandon Scott Hill. Ever heard of Alexander Dugin? Dugin. Hopefully that answers your question. At Brandon Scott Hill. Buzz. I softened him up for you, Buzz. Oh Thanks, my, I'm not bad. Always willing to lend a At Ouija 888 Zen. He sounds pretty based. There's another term for that, by the way, ALML. That's called retardation. You'll never stop me, Buzz Lightyear! Well, I'll just have to give it the old ranger try, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> At Brandon Scott Hill, there's a word for that. That's called retardation. Acting guy five four five six. Yeah, I guess that's actually pretty bad.
gonna have to back up at Brendan's got this. I got this one, Buzz. I saw him up for you, Buzz. Thanks, Mira. Always willing to lend a helping hand. I'm gonna have to back up Ouija 888 Zen. If you, by the way, there's a new skip on this level, so that's why I saved time. If you get to the boss arena before the boss, it's kind of like a race. If you get there before the boss, Mira comes down and does half damage to the boss. And if you get there afterwards, she doesn't. By the Galactic Alliance, but because this is a speed stop. run, I get there before the boss every single time. Because I'm good. Or run away and I'll chase you down. That works right, hopefully good. I get a good uh, skip here and I will probably get the world record tonight. Should be quite epic. Yikes, this is bad. This is very bad. Damn. That was very slow. I might still be able to get the record, but it won't be as free. I'll have to get really lucky. The way that clip works is you just need to get on the box with the uh, ledge grab. And if you can do that successfully, then, well, magically you clip through. If you can't, uh, it's, it's kind of luck based. It's not like actually like RNG or anything, but like it's the positioning is just so specific. And there's no way to do specific like movement increments in this game. So you just have to kind of keep like jumping at it until you get it. What's supposed to happen uh, if you don't do that skip is you do arena combat in all these areas. And the way that works is when you go into a room, the boss basically just stands in the next room like he was there. And then as soon as you get into that room where the boss is, he just runs forward and then locks you in another room. So if you do the skip, it basically breaks all of that scripting and you just run to the end. At Ouija888Zen. Is your brother retarded? This skip is only doable on the PC version. On the PS1 and Dreamcast version, it soft locks the game. On the PC version, it loads the whole level instantly. Uh, but on the other two console versions, it loads the level in chunks. So if you do the skip, it skips the loading triggers and you just soft lock the game. I wouldn't say it's necessary, but it's pretty fucking helpful. It saves like four minutes. Has anyone ever found a successful and working PS uh, or PC version of A Bug's Life? I got this one, Buzz. Buzz. Thanks, Mira. Always willing to lend a helping hand. So this boss fight, basically the boss runs back and forth throughout this big arena. So you can kind of like bump him to the point where he doesn't do that. If you do it well enough, you can save a lot of time. Got it. Yeah, as you can see, losing time because of the really shitty skip. But my PB wasn't that great either, so I didn't lose a tremendous amount of time. I'll still probably get the record here. It would need a really, really shitty Zerg in order to lose this. This is Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. All evil entities will now surrender to At me. Ouija 888 <laughs>
This weapon is really overpowered. It's basically like a homing missile launcher. It decimates the whole game. Any on grunge? Dude, I love grunge. G-R-U-N-J-J. That's wire sponge from X2. Come on now. At Brandon Scott Hill. Tell your dad that I'll kick his ass. Months of streaming, and you'll probably be able to record CyberCon. Lend a helping hand. Alright, what do you guys think? You buy them with unicorns? Infinite HP? I don't. I see that you buzzed your little way into my lair. It's time to end your reign. So do you guys think I'll get the whir, or do you guys think I'll fuck You're it up? Much more powerful than you could ever imagine, my dear. If I want it, dude, I'll take it. I'm sure that shit's only worth like two dollars. I know unsealed is worth like fucking negative dollars. That's okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Got it. Nice. Yeehaw. Forty-two, forty-two. There you go. Had some pretty good gamer commentary on that run too. Yeehaw. All right. The credits fucking scare the shit out of me, so I'm closing this game. Alright, so thanks for watching, fellas. I am Gonzo.